Soil is sometimes formed in layers of different textures near the surface. Each layer may have a different pore size, which affects the way water moves through the soil. Abrupt changes in pore size affect water moving by capillary action. This soil profile shows soil with small pores overlying a layer of soil with large pores. Capillary force, also known as soil tension, refers to the soil's ability to attract and hold water. Capillary force is greater in the soil layer with small pores. Many soils, especially those formed in alluvium or marine sediments, are layered, resulting in abrupt changes in pore size. Water is held back at each of these contacts and will not move downward until the clay layer above the sand is saturated. Therefore, some soil horizons will hold more water than the available water capacity would otherwise indicate. When enough water has been added, gravitational forces will exceed capillary forces and water moves downward into the coarse sand below. Once water enters the coarse material, it moves rapidly and soon penetrates the bottom layer below the sand. When soil with large pores overlies soil with small pores, water moves by gravity relatively quickly and uniformly through the upper soil layer. Below the boundary, capillary forces in the underlying clay soil layer immediately draw water downward. Typically, water moves more slowly through the lower layer, so water accumulates at the boundary. This underlying clay layer has a relatively high water holding capacity and a high soil tension. Therefore, this clay layer can absorb and hold a large quantity of water. Under field conditions, little or no water percolates to soil horizons below the clay layer until the clay layer becomes saturated. This condition is desirable for growing rice or for maintaining wetlands. It is not desirable for growing most other plants. An underlying clay layer can be desirable in a number of other circumstances, such as below a sanitary landfill. Partial subsoil layers can redirect water flow so that some areas receive little water while others receive a great deal. All of these factors can impact plant growth and cause water quality concerns. The downward flow pattern of water depends on the location and orientation of these layers.